All right, so I woke up today and I realized I'm all out of weed. Coincidentally though, today I'm supposed to go on a uh, weed cooking show. It's a show, but I'm gonna go on it and, oh my fucking alarm. Anyway, to make this day even a little bit more exciting, I decided that instead of driving or taking an Uber to go to the venue that this uh, thing is filmed at, I'm actually gonna ride my bike like 15 miles to get there. And then afterwards, I'm gonna ride 15 miles back. Now I know that like common sense logic would be like, oh, you're about to be filmed for a TV show. Maybe you shouldn't get like incredibly sweaty and dirty. But you know, I'm a different kind of guy. I'm the kind of guy who wants to be sweaty and dirty. So I'm about to do this. Okay, and so then tonight I got an interview with this rapper girl, Leaf from Brooklyn, who you guys should definitely check out. And then also I'm gonna do a podcast with Fat Nick and Tyler Grosso on which we may or may not sip that cough syrup. So let's see how this goes. Hey, I want some shit. Hey, I'm on some shit. Hey, I'm on some shit. Hey, I want some shit. Hey, I want some shit. Halfway there, six and a half miles. Still going. I love riding my bike, just for the record. Sometimes I see people making fun of me in the comments. They're like, oh. Why don't you get a car, take an Uber? I'm like, bro, are you fucking crazy? Oh my god, I just pulled up a big hump. Uh, I love this shit. It's like the most fun thing in the fucking world to me is riding around on my bike by myself. And I realize it's kind of weird, but what can I do? Hey, I want some shit. Hey, I'm on 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 some shit. All right, about a quarter mile away. Did it. Took me about an hour on a shitty ass little BMX bike to ride that far, so it's pretty good, right? All right, I just got here. I gotta be really quiet because they're shooting it out there and they were like yelling at me for making noise when I first walked in. So I'm here. I'm just gonna stay in the bathroom for like three minutes to calm down. Try to like clean myself off a little bit because like my heart rate's up. I gotta change my clothes and stuff. I'm out here just Killing a little time waiting with my man Dirt over here. How's it going, bro? Hey, so what's your exact uh, involvement with this show? Producing and uh, talent booking. Okay. But either way, the whole idea is that they give the ingredients to the chef, and he doesn't know what the recipe is, so he's going to make whatever he sees fit out of these ingredients, and I'm just going to be a part of it. And you got to smoke a lot of weed. And we smoke a shitload of weed as part of it, which is awesome, because I'm at the bottom of my weed stash right now. I'm down to just the shake, and it's like, it's getting embarrassing. Like, I wouldn't want to smoke weed with anybody right now, because... You smoke backwards, too, right? Well, that is, that's the, the silver lining, is that you can <laughs> kind of cover the taste a little bit, but... But you can't roll shake in a backwards. I've been doing it. <laughs> Stop this is Lily, and she's actually going to be applying makeup to me for the first time oh, yeah. in my entire life. I've never worn makeup before, so this is a huge oh, yeah. honor. It's going to be really fucking exciting. I'm just really I'm so take a nice, good look at me, and let me know if I look like significantly <laughs> different <laughs> under these lights. I'm having makeup applied right now because I'm about to be on this uh, weed cooking show. This is the first time I've ever done this in my whole life, and I'm just loving it. All right, so this is me with makeup. Can you explain what you did exactly? Just the... a little foundation under the eyes, or a little around the nose, just to even everything out. And so you, I'm gonna start doing this every day. Right? Right? Makeup. Is a, <laughs> I'm gonna be a makeup Changes vlogger. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank <laughs> you very much. No problem. Thank you. I got all these sandwiches here, but I'm gonna hold out because uh, I feel like I should probably wait. This is how they set up. This is production, I guess. You see that? So this is all you. Hey, okay. This is what we're smoking on. What kind of weed is this? I think this is Jack Herrera. Yeah, right. Sick, because I've been smoking fucking garbage for a couple days now, so anything is good. Hey, what's going on? This is Chris, right? What's up? Yep. Uh, you want to get high and make food? I'm down to get high and make food. Okay. You down to get high and make food? Let's do it. Let's do it. This is, this is your show, though. I just want the people out there to know that they should check out my episode as well as... All the other ones that you've done. What's what's your favorite one that they should go watch? Ooh. And I realize it's a political question. Um, honestly, I really like uh, I really like the first one. Okay. Uh, with Adrian and and, uh, and Aristotle. Blake Vapes. Yeah, right. Blake okay. Vapes. Yes. Um, they're just so funny to me, and mm -hmm. like that, just they killed it. Like, yeah. Is Vitaly cool? Vitaly was cool too. Okay. I thought it was gonna be a dick. He ended he up being a bad pretty rap cool. Online sometimes, yeah. but yeah, I mean. I'm... Dude, no, I was ex fully expecting like dick hole, like not gonna get along. Did he, he prank you? Cool. No, he didn't. Okay, well, that's, good. I... <laughs> that's very good. Yeah, it was it was funny getting to see him smoke for the first time. Hell yeah! All right, well, yeah. let's do this. On your mark. Oh my 
blah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just got done filming this fucking show, and this is what we made. Well, actually, it's almost like completely eaten now, but it's uh, we ended up making. Well, actually, I'll, I'll save that for you. We won't even say what it was. But anyway, thanks to all these guys. This was so fun. Got high as shit. Finally, smoking some good weed after a couple of days on the fucking shake train. Shout out to Prohibited. I'm actually probably gonna eat some more of this mac and cheese, to be totally honest, because. You know, I gotta ride like 13 miles home, so I gotta fucking, I got a nice workout, yeah. Load up on your car. Hey, and shout out to Chris for making this phenomenal fucking meal. He killed it. It was unreal. I appreciate it, man. Seriously. So delicious. This is cool. Yeah. What's your, what's your Instagram? <laughs> oh, the herbal chef. The underscore herbal underscore chef. Got you. All right. Yep. And we're so, at prohibited. At prohibited too. I'm gonna tag both of these guys. Thank you very much for having me on the show. They said it was one of the best episodes so far. I can't. I can't claim anything. I can't make that shit up. But I did just dump beer down my throat with a mouthful of mac and cheese for the shot. Just because I feel like it might get me in like a trailer or something. You know, I might get like on their reels. That's going to be on somebody's reel. <laughs> That's smart, like dude. film industry talk really right smart. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I know what I'm talking about. It's definitely making the new open. When nice. we come to the new yeah. open. Oh, see, yeah. that yeah. Season two, yeah. I'm in the yeah. intro because yeah. I did that shit. <laughs> All right. I guarantee you, you heard it here first. <laughs> Alright, so that was fucking fun as hell, to be totally honest. That dude Chris is cool as fuck. And uh, basically, we made some crazy ass mac and cheese, filmed the show, drank two fucking blue moons, and I might be slightly tipsy. Hopefully no cops pull me over and breathalyze me. Serious crime. Anyway, now I gotta pedal another 13 miles back to the house, which I am happy to do. And uh, then I gotta get ready for these interviews, which I will not have much time for, but you know, whatever. I'm high as fuck. I drank two beers, but I smoked a ton of weed. I smoked like three bowls and then a joint. But they gave me weed too, so thank you for that. And also, this looks cool. I feel like Casey Nice said he always points at stuff. This is cool. Cool. Look at me. Cool. I just want to say I think it's really funny that I did a vlog the other day called I went to a weed yoga class. And now I'm clearly doing a vlog called I went on a weed cooking show. And that they're both true. And it really opens the door for doing like more weed related vlogs like I went in a weed hot tub I ate at a weed KFC. I went to a weed car wash. I went to a weed nursery I just want to say that this is an amazing spot and I forget who did this wall ride But that is fucked and I'm high and I keep stopping to look at things All right, everything was going really good. I got really close to my house two miles away. I was just thinking man I'm lucky that I didn't get a flat. I just rode 30 miles, I didn't get a flat. And then I got a flat. So, I just called an Uber. I'm gonna spend the five bucks to get back to my house. I would walk. I'm not afraid of a two mile walk. But I gotta get home so I can take a shower before I go to this podcast, so. I'm back, oh I just remembered I'm still wearing makeup. Can you see it? How's it look? I can't see it at all to be honest. But uh, back of the crib. Fat Nick and Tyler Grosso canceled. We're gonna have to do that at a slightly different date. I'm changed. This is now my third shirt of the day. Shout out to 2020. Three shirts, one vlog. Who else you know that could pull that off? You know, Ethan H3H3, he's rocking 200 shirts at once, but three different shirts because you sweated through the first two? That's badass. Look, I'm gonna turn the lights off and you're not gonna be able to see me. Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's even worse. There you go, look, can't even see me. You can kind of see out the blinds. Uh, imagine I vlogged in the dark. <laughs> you guys ready? I'm ready. Ready. Let's do this. Hey, Lee, thank you very much. Not that was so. Yay. Yo, people will not know until it comes out, but we just did. We killed Two and so two fun. hours and forty minutes, and we could wow. not stop talking. We we didn't cover a lot, so okay. that was fantastic. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah, part two coming soon. Yeah. It's yeah. probably yo. She was she's a real conversationalist. I gotta say. For real, you need your own show. That was I amazing. Know, I, I want to be on the show. show. Let's get a show. We Yo. Part of my goal, like yeah. I want to do workshop. I want to do a Sunday brunch type of thing. So we should do that. Let's focus like on mimosas that. and shit talking. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. My favorite shit. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank and she's you. dancing? God damn. <laughs>
This yeah. Saturday. Saturday and I'm going Sunday. Okay, so Saturday, Saturday, Saturday I'm doing spin pole and like the normal pole. Okay, and then cool. Sunday Let's go Saturday. Pole. Yeah. yeah spin done. class, huh? Spin classes. <laughs> All right, so just finished that interview. Still haven't really figured out exactly what I'm going to get into tonight. Leaf, like, she was so sick. Like, that was the longest no jumper interview ever. I'm pretty sure it's like two hours, 40 minutes, at least two and a half. She was so fucking cool. And she's 21. Also, the moment in the podcast where she realized that I was not gay because she thought I was gay for like most of the beginning of it because of something that I said in the beginning is so fucking funny. Also, look at this cat. Look, he's so white that you can't even really like white balance on him. Fire. Shout out Henny Gang. All right, so now I'm back at the crib hanging out with Connor. There was a couple of different girls that we were supposed to go party with tonight and uh, both of them bailed, which is just kind of something that happens in life. However, them hoes couldn't stop me from ordering a fucking salad from Uber Eats. So I ordered a salad and I ordered my man Connor, who's not here right now because he just went to the bathroom, ordered him a burger. So, you know, pretty good night, you know, got the interviews done. Really didn't want to go out in the first place. Woo! So anyway, I'm about to roll a blunt. I guess it's the end of this vlog. Thank you very, very much to anybody who watched. I did a lot of things today. I did a lot of things. I rode 30 miles, filmed a fucking cooking show, did an amazing interview, and now I'm back at the house about to eat a fucking salmon salad. For real, thank you so much to anybody who watched. Please comment, please subscribe, please like. I love you. Peace. My challenge in doing vlogs, I think, and I don't take them as serious as I, as I do before, but I still do do them for fun, is that a lot of times I don't feel like I have like a, a, yeah. a narrative that has presented itself to me. You get so used to your way. own life and you get so used to your own experiences, you'd be like, why would anybody want to watch this? Like, yeah. whatever. Like, I order Simply Salad almost fucking every day out of the, out of the work week.